Welcome back to the Civic Sci TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you the latest this week in the world of civic science. On April 8th, millions of Americans across the country are preparing to watch the total solar eclipse as it passes from Texas to Maine. We've reported on the show about events organized around outreach and public engagement surrounding the eclipse. But if crowds aren't your thing, there are some ways you can participate too. So grab your eclipse glasses and check them out. You can help scientists from NASA understand the science behind a total eclipse. You can download the SunSketcher app and use your smartphone to measure the last rays of sunlight as you watch the eclipse. This study will help the SunSketcher team at NASA better measure the shape of the sun, which is not a perfectly round sphere. This would help scientists better understand our sun, and you too can be part of this. Animals have been found to react to solar eclipses as well. The Eclipse Soundscape Project is studying how the shifts in light and temperature affect the sounds of nature. Think crickets starting to chirp and birds beginning to settle down. Audio kits have been sent out across the country to volunteers to run recordings before, during, and after the eclipse to capture the changing sounds of nature. These community scientists are helping to capture the soundscapes during the eclipse. Even if you're not in the path of totality, you can join in on the fun by observing the partial eclipse alongside iNaturalist. Check out this iNaturalist hub at the link in the description below where you can submit your photos and observations. You can sign up to share your careful observations of the birds, insects, and other animals you might see in here and how they react to the eclipse. You can also share your field notes as an observer for the Eclipse Soundscape project. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Civic Sci TV News and enjoyed the eclipse, no matter where you are in the US.